let's see here. Hmm, testing, 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 testing. I have no idea if this is working. Let's see. Mario says, uh, hello. Uh, hello, Mario. Good to see you there. <clears throat> happy Friday. Yes, happy Friday. Although my work week never ends. <laughs> Hopefully this, uh, the sound is coming through. I think I unmuted it. We have uh, moved the, uh, the computer and the camera set up into the war room so we can go into a few things here. If you're easily bored, don't watch. Oh, and uh, for the person that keeps complaining there is uh, too many behind the hat episodes, turn off your notifications. All right, <clears throat> little inside joke there. Okay, so uh, kind of a new format here. I do apologize for that. I kind of have to get used to your guys' comments are way over there. So I have to go back and forth to be able to see. We have uh, the mighty war board here. Uh, as you can see uh, from the title over here, we're going to be doing an economic breakdown of uh, LPNN. So it's going to be really boring. If you're easily bored, don't watch. I've warned you. All right. Let's see if we have any other things here. Uh, Mario says loud and clear. Yay. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So we've had a few people out there um, ask us some questions and things and, and uh, you know, criticize a few things. Well, that's because uh, they don't understand exactly what goes on behind the scenes. They're like, ah, there's no way, blah, 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 yakety schmackety. We won't go into the excuses, but uh, we did talk about that the other day <clears throat> uh, when, when Lois was out uh, uh, doing what Lois does best, which is not her homework. <laughs> and uh, Lois, if, if you can hear me, you're not supposed to be watching. Okay, she's not watching. <laughs> she's supposed to be working. I'm sorry, what? Uh, she has her own, her own econ to do, she says. Yeah, some homework. So we're going to do a, a real quick break. To, well, real quick. This is probably going to take a few minutes. But we're going to do a breakdown of, uh, of the budgeting for LPNN here and what we're trying to do and uh, where we're going to be going uh, dependent on a few things. So uh, stand by for some boredom, some numbers, and uh, we'll interact with you as we can. Like I said, your comments are way over there. And I can't see when I'm up close to it. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, okay, no more comments. Oh, wow, we actually have quite a few viewers in here. I apologize. Remember, if you're bored, don't watch. <laughs> All right, so we'll, we'll go ahead and, and we'll start with the red stuff. Can anybody guess how much Freedom Studios costs? All right, we'll, we'll just throw that question out there to get some audience interaction going on. Can anyone guess how much LPNN Studios costs a month? <laughs> I, I've got... Uh, my little marker here. Ugh. Anybody? I know there's a there's a lag time, so I'll give it just a second there. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and throw it up on the board. I can't see anything popping up because I'm blind. So, all right, let's see. This is about the middle of the board. We'll go with that. Hopefully, you guys can see that. All right. So here's Freedom Studios. That's Freedom Studios right there. That's how much it costs a month. It's actually a little bit more than that. Uh, you know, there's like tax and stuff involved. But we'll go with that. That's how much Freedom Studios costs a month. Awesome, right? People are like, oh my goodness, that's expensive. Actually, when you think about it, it's not that bad. Because in that price is included the utilities and Freedom Studios came fully furnished. So it's expensive. But the next cheapest place we could find here in Page, Arizona was almost this much, didn't include utilities, and was not furnished, so we would have had to deal with that. <clears throat> oh, wait, we have some comments over here. Let me look. Let's see. Wow, you guys are all over. Okay, 3,000 uh, from Gina. Mario says 2,500. Harlan says 2,500. Carol says 700 a month. Yep, not even close. <laughs> okay, so you guys are a little high, but this is what it costs right here a month. It's a beautiful studio. We've got a couple of offices and we have the actual studio itself. Lois has a place where she can get all of her work done. In the overall scheme of things, especially with what you guys are estimating, doesn't seem that bad. We also have to throw in there, let's go with our insurance that we have to cover. And uh, I'm not, uh, we'll have, I don't have all of the billing stuff in front of me, but we'll, we'll, we'll be nice and we'll say it's 100. Oops, let's see here, there we go. All right, so that's, uh, we'll go with Freedom Studios here. You gotta love my handwriting, right? Freedom 
insurance. Okay, so freedom insurance. All right, what else do we? Oh, Lois is giving me the the evil eye. Oh, okay, she's not. She's listening to the thing. <laughs> Let's see, if we have any more comments over here. Um, let's see. Harlan says, not very free. No, no, it's not. But uh, that's more of a, a sense of being than it is uh, cost life. All right. So we have right there for the building. Right there, we'll call for insurance. Thankfully, the utilities and everything are included in this, which is epic. All right. What else do we have? Well, <laughs> this is where the fun stuff comes in. We have a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we have a, a restreaming service that we use. Uh, that, that costs a monthly fee. Not that much, but we'll have to throw that in there. And what that does, that allows us to broadcast on more than one platform when we're here on in the studio. We do Facebook, we do YouTube, we do Twitch, and we do Periscope. And uh, Periscope is part of Twitter. And uh, so, so that is uh, one of the things coming on. Sorry, I have a window and I can see Lois over there looking confused. So, <laughs> all right. So uh, that's the restream service. All right, that's something that we need. So we'll go ahead and uh, and throw that in there. And we'll actually break this out into a nice little problem over here on the side in just a minute. We're just getting some of the basics out of the way. So uh, let's see, we, we also have uh, the website. The website is, uh, that's actually a yearly fee, thankfully, but that uh, that's actually coming up tomorrow. So tomorrow, that's, uh, that's $300 right there. <clears throat> trying to think what else do we have for business expenses oh yeah we have cell phones and uh some people will be like well you don't really need a cell phone for business but that's actually how we're able to do live broadcasts for you guys we have a bunch of other equipment that's tied to that but we have to have the good quality cell phone to be able to broadcast to you and uh, we just look that up and uh we have uh, my cell phone, we have Lois's cell phone, and we also have a Wi-Fi hotspot that we have to utilize when we're out in the field in the truck so that we can actually broadcast through the cell booster that we have installed in the truck. So that's how much this is here. All right. <laughs> I see what... <clears throat> okay. <laughs> oh, no. We've got a lot of people watching. Remember, if you're easily bored... Don't watch. This is going to be really boring. <laughs> but some people were curious. We actually had somebody. <laughs> well, we're not going to go into that. I'll, I'll be nice. But uh, we've had a lot of people disparaging what we're doing and, uh, you know, the, our budgeting and things of that nature. So, Lois, you're not supposed to be watching. I saw you pop in there. <laughs> anyway, you have homework to do. Get your homework done. <clears throat> I, I'm not actually being mean to me. Uh, mean to her. She's uh, just supposed to be working. All right, so we've got sixteen hundred for Freedom Studios. Got a, it's probably a little bit more than this for insurance. Um, we have a restreaming service, um, and now I don't even remember what that is. <laughs> oh yes, this is the website. This is coming up uh, tomorrow. Website. All right, and then uh, we have this. This is the cell service, so we'll put that down here. <clears throat> Uh, is Lois ty oh Lois is typing over here? She says I'm listening to make sure you get the numbers right. <laughs> well, we appreciate that. Thank you, Lois. Uh, Chris says you are never. Or Carol says Chris, you are never boring. Well, thank you, Carol. But it is a number thing. So, <laughs> wow, we got a lot of people watching. All right. So hopefully, is can you guys see this? Does it, hey Lois, is that coming through on the camera? Okay, I can't tell. <laughs> Gas. Uh, okay, well, we haven't actually gone into that yet. Um, there's a reason. We've had, we've had a lot of people, actually. They're like, man, we love those traffic reports. How come you don't do the traffic reports anymore? Well, there, there's a reason behind that as well. The traffic reports on our loop are just about 50 miles to go to all of the different places. People are like, wait, what? 50 miles? Yeah. You have to go out to Horseshoe Bend. Then you got to go out, out to, to Antelope Point Marina. And then we have to go out to Carl Hayden Visitor Center and then Wawweep Marina. So, yeah, it's, a, it's right around the 50-mile mark. And uh, that's gas. We're not going to put gas in there yet. We're going to go with the hard costs right now. And then we'll throw in variable costs here in a little bit. This stuff, it doesn't change. Gas can change. That's one of those things that you can cut back on, which is why we don't do the traffic reports live as much as we would like to or at all right now. <clears throat> all right, so we have, uh, since Lois is watching... We have the studio, insurance, 
We have the restreaming service. The website's due tomorrow. We have the sell service. What else you got, Lois? What am I missing just for? We're not, we're not, we're just doing the breakdown of the business expenses here. You got anything else for us? Hold on just a sec while we wait. Got to love that lag time. (laughs) Sorry, I'm reading the comments as we're going here. We do have quite a few people watching. I apologize. Once again, we did have to move all of the computer equipment and the camera stuff into the war room where the whiteboard is. I've been wanting to use this thing for quite some time. And uh, I have used it actually for breaking down some strategic stuff that we've been working on and all of that fun stuff. But uh, let's see. (laughs) <laughs> oh yeah uh vehicle insurance okay so uh, and that's uh lois is putting down that's 115 a month all right we'll go ahead and put that down 115 dollars a month for vehicle insurance all right and anything else you got over there lois <laughs> so anyway yeah this uh this warboard has been used before just obviously not on camera <clears throat> I'm waiting for oh we got some more comments here harlan says hotel and food and drinks expenses uh yes harlan uh you're very right but white like i said we're going with fixed costs right now we will throw in the variable costs uh here in a little bit but we want to get the actual monthly expenses that can't be changed just for the business side of stuff <clears throat> do you have anything oh let's say we do lois put something else out here uh, she says, and all of these figures are per month with the exception of the website. Yes, that is true. Uh, thank you very much, Lois. I appreciate that. So we'll just go ahead and call this monthly expenses for the business, okay? So we'll we'll do a little math problem over here. Let's see. I think I have a calculator. <laughs> I had it on my phone here. So uh, let me get out of your way. We have uh, 1600 plus 100 and 20 and 300 and 220 and 115 all right oh someone else is uh, commenting over here harlan says uh, grooming gotta look good in front of the camera no no i don't <laughs> we took that expense out that's why i look like a mess but anyway <laughs> thank you harlan all right so this uh, this right here comes up to twenty three fifty five and remember this is actually kind of on the low end we might be leaving some stuff out so i'm gonna go ahead and erase this and we'll put this up here we have twenty three fifty five this is per month for lpnn all right so twenty three fifty five a month we have right there Oh, did I did I add it wrong? Oh, I added it wrong. What you got, Lois? Oh, <laughs> sorry, your monitor's way over there. Uh, 2055, 2355 with the website. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and throw that in because this is what we need for by the end of the month. So, all right, so normally it's 2055, but this month we have to pay up for the website, which is another $300. So we're throwing that up in there. <clears throat> all right, so this is LPNN monthly expenses for this month. Normally... At $300 less and like this does not include the variable costs you guys brought up some good points gas and things like that that stuff is not cheap <laughs> not to mention that the LPNN vehicle has 211 almost 212,000 miles on it and it needs a lot of maintenance that we can't afford right now so that's a whole nother problem all right so this is for LPNN and then let's go ahead and break down the personal side of things this is uh, because this is what we do for a living. We work here seven days a week. We get here at six o'clock in the morning and we usually don't leave until nine or 10 every night. So this is what we do for a living. So we're gonna have to throw in our personal expenses. We'll go ahead and add those up real quick. So we have our, we have our mortgage that we're paying on. There's the mortgage. All right, and then we have electricity we got to keep the lights on right i am uh, am very savvy when it comes to technology and the way things work and stuff so i I am able to fix all of my own problems and i'm able to trim a lot of expenses and we're able to pay our utilities and usually keep it under 200 a month it does go up a little bit uh sometimes but we'll go with that so that's uh utilities we'll go with that 
Oh, excuse me. All right, so let's see. Lois, are you still listening over there? <laughs> All right, let's see if we have any more comments. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, and there are the taxes the government requires. Well, we're not even going into the taxes, Lois. So I appreciate that, but that, that's a mess. Uh, the taxes do change, and we do have to pay that as well, but that's a, that's a whole other ball of wax. Uh, luckily, the LPNN vehicle is paid for, so we don't have to deal with that. That's a good thing. <clears throat> um, let's see. We have this. We have this. Uh, we have internet. Um, we are currently using uh, Kenyan Country for internet at the house. Unfortunately, uh, if you guys remember when we were at the house studio, that has uh, some severe signal degradation, and I look like Max Headroom all the time. But uh, I believe that is $55 a month. <clears throat> and that's, uh, that's for internet there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Once again, I keep having to check over here for the comments, make see what you guys are saying. Let's see. I know I'm missing some stuff here. We got 550 for the mortgage, 200 for utilities, 55 for the internet. Oh yes, uh, we actually have gas at the house, which is amazing because I have an on-demand hot water heater from the 1970s, which makes it really cheap to run hot water, and you never run out, which is always a good thing. <laughs> and that is usually forty dollars or less a month, usually about half of that, but sometimes it depends. All right, so that will go with uh, with gas. <laughs> All right, so the, as you can see, I'm really good at trimming the fat on the, uh, on the personal budget there. We don't have normal TV because we don't use it. I haven't had normal TV in well over a decade. Uh, everything I do is online. I have, you know, Netflix and things like that. And the Netflix account is actually shared between like four people don't tell netflix that but uh so that cost is negligible and we won't bother throwing that on the board <clears throat> excuse me uh, let's see uh teresa or lois says uh food well we haven't got to that that's another variable cost right now we're going with fixed costs <laughs> so this gas is uh utility gas we'll go with that one all right, uh, we have another expense um, that I can't really discuss on an open forum for legal reasons. We'll talk about that later. That's uh, We have that new channel, uh, Behind the Hat Unplugged. That one we could discuss it, but here on the open forum we can't. And that one is another $500 a month, and it is non-negotiable. I have to pay it, so that really puts a ding in the wallet. All right, Lois, go ahead and add that up for me. What do we got? <laughs> since uh, sh her math is better than mine because, you know, she's got all the degrees on the wall over there. <laughs> Holy cow, we got a lot of people. What? Really? Come on, this is boring stuff. You guys don't want to watch this. <laughs> what do you got? I realize how bad that makes you sound. Which part? For legal reasons. Yes, for legal reasons. <laughs> well, like I said, it's one of those things that we can't really discuss on an open forum uh, for the legal reasons. Uh, it is non-criminal. Yeah, non-criminal legal <laughs> reasons. <laughs> Yeah, definitely not. So Lois brought that up there. Uh, yeah. So non-criminal legal reasons, we cannot discuss this on an open forum. That's something we'll be saving for the uh, the more secure groups. Uh, let's see. Harlan says, uh, I'm super bored. That's why I'm watching. So he's super bored and he's still watching. I, I apologize, Harlan. <laughs> All right. So since uh, Lois is not adding this up for me, I'll go ahead and pull it up on my, my phone here. Let's see. What do we got here? We got 550 plus 200 plus 55 plus 40 plus 500. What do you got? Oh, did you write it down, Lois? No. <laughs> All right. So that comes out to 1345. So we'll go ahead and put up there. So 13. 45 for household. All right, this is household uh, expenses. Remember, these are all the non-variable costs. All right, so you got that and you got that. Now you can throw in the variable costs, which are considerable. Uh, as some people mentioned, you know, you've got gas. Hey, wait, there's food in there. Harlan brought up, uh, I have to look good in front of the camera. Uh, yeah, well, no, I don't. Uh, you guys just have to deal with that. <laughs> We're going to go with just fixed costs right now, but please do remember there are a lot of variable costs. So we'll go ahead and add these guys up here for you. And uh, since I'm live and on the camera, I'm not going to try and actually work that out. <laughs> Give me just a second. We got 
2355 plus 1345 comes out to $3,700. So we're going to go ahead and write that up here. We're going to write that right here. $3,700 per month combined fixed expenses. Okay. So that's combined fixed expenses for LPNN and the household. And once again, we have to put the household in there because, well, we're here all the time. So we have to, uh, yeah, that's something we have to take into account. So this is our baseline, not including food or anything else. <clears throat> I can budget for food and stuff like that really, really well. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty uh, savvy at it. Oh, <laughs> and Lois was like, no, no, you shouldn't do this. But I'm going to show you this. So uh, for those of you that don't know, I am uh, I'm a bit of a prepper when it comes to things. Uh, I like uh, contingency planning. I'm really good at that sort of thing. And so one of the things I've done over the years, over lots of years actually, is uh, you know I make sure I always have extra stuff in the food pantry and things like that. Uh, that way, no matter what, we're we're able to to feed ourselves and stuff. <laughs> and uh, last week we actually busted out. Uh, we busted out the National Geographic uh, uh, emergency survival food. This is what we've been eating uh, for lunches and stuff. And uh, it's freeze-dried, and uh, you, you just add hot water. So here at the office uh, at Freedom Studios, we run some water through a coffee pot. You fill it in there, let it sit for about 30 minutes, and you eat it. It's not that great. It's not as good as MREs were back when we were in the military, but it's mostly edible. <laughs> Lois only likes the oatmeal, though the other stuff is kind of me. <laughs> but me, I'm kind of like a belly goat when it comes to that. I'll eat whatever I need to. So anyway, that's kind of a funny on the side. But we don't even worry about the food cost because right now we have that covered. I've been uh, stockpiling for quite some time, and that is taking care of things. Oh, we have some comments over here. Uh, let's see. Oh, thank you guys for doing the math. I did not see that uh, you had put that in there. Uh, let's see. Teresa says, without the website, 40. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, you're actually adding these up for the year. I see. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. So uh, Lois brought up some good points here. She's saying um, without the website, it's okay. So you're taking that out of the monthly. It's um, $40,000 and 800 per year. And that's uh, combined. So we'll, we'll go ahead and write up that up here. $40,800 per year. Okay, so $40,000, this is expenses that are fixed that are non-negotiable when it comes to the business. That's expenses. Okay, that's not anything extra. We're not talking about gas. We're not talking about going out to eat because we didn't put the food in there. I showed you what we're doing for that. And uh, yeah, so we got $3,700 a month. Um, obviously, she's taking out the, uh, the website because that's a yearly fee. There are a bunch of other yearly fees and other fees that I have to pay online, but those are semi-variable. We're just giving a basic breakdown of what this kind of thing, uh, this kind of thing takes. <coughs> Excuse me. So as you can already see, our expenses are, uh, are kind of high, but that's about as low as they can go unless we start cutting some other things. So uh, you guys... You guys are so amazing, by the way. Uh, you guys have helped by donating some money, which helps us take care of some stuff. We're going to go over that here in just a second. Um, let's see. Okay. <laughs> just check in the comment section again. Remember, if you get bored easily, stop watching. All right. So this is our basic breakdown for the year. Now, we have, uh, we have a few other things I want to throw up here. <clears throat> this nice microphone I'm holding in my hand. This thing doesn't uh, doesn't cost nothing here. This is uh, these are actually uh, pretty nice pieces of equipment. This is a two hundred dollar microphone. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we'll we'll start adding up little stuff. Okay, so I'll put that over here. Th and this is just to give you an example of how much things have cost up to this point. So we're gonna go ahead and put that right here. As a and, and like I said, we're just breaking this down a little bit. We'll just go with the stuff that's in this room. How about that? <clears throat> As a $200 microphone. Oh, what do you need a $200 microphone for? Um, well, have you ever listened to what a $10 microphone sounds like? Would you tune in and watch somebody that was talking to you with a $200 microphone? When we first started, we had that $10 microphone. It kept cutting out and having all kinds of problems. You guys remember that who have been here for a while. <laughs> it doesn't work. 
All right, so that's just that one. Let's go with, uh, oh, the cord to plug it in right there. Well, this, this cord cost, uh, I believe, $30. It's a really long one, so we'll go ahead and throw that in there. This is, like I said, just to give you guys kind of an example. $30 cord, and we're only going with what's in this room. The camera that I'm talking to you on right now that uh, is nice and HD, although, I mean, you get compression from Facebook and stuff, but compared to a webcam, this thing blows it away. That camera that's there in front of you was $2,000. Now, it came with a bunch of other stuff that uh, works really well for shooting movies and things like that. <clears throat> but I did a lot of research on that camera before I bought it because I like making sure I, I get what I need and what I, you know, what, what I pay for. And this camera was the only one that could do everything that I needed it to do and survive. So it's actually not that expensive of a movie camera when you go out and look at movie cameras. This one is the absolute cheapest one I could find that had all of the features that I had to have to be able to broadcast online. <clears throat> oh, we had some comments over here. Carol says, add 25 a month uh, for the website. That's 300. Oh, okay, well, thank you for that. We're just going to go ahead and leave it out for this. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. Uh, once again, if you are easily bored, tune out. I see we got a lot of uh, people watching over here. We do appreciate it. We're just kind of throwing out some examples and some things so people understand uh, what is going on here. Hold on, Lois is coming in again. Yes, Lois. <laughs> You're missing more comments. Uh, oh, am I missing more comments? Okay, I, I apologize. The monitor's over here. Lois is scrolling up for comments here. What do we got? <laughs> I'm you saw this one. Uh, okay. This is how much for just the business. Well, yes, but we have to account for the other one because that's part of our expenses. So. Right, no, I'm just saying. Okay. Just to run the business, that's how much it costs. That's right. With, and that's without paying a salary. Right. And we're not, we don't, we're not doing that right now. Right. All right. So anyway. And then, um, <laughs> this guy. Okay. Uh, let's see. And you use a paper towel roll for... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, let me look at that again. That says, uh, and you used a paper towel roll for the handheld mic. Yes. Uh, back when we first started this, I didn't have this microphone. I actually had a paper towel roll that I duct taped and put a cheap microphone in so that it looked like I had a real microphone. Uh, we have upgraded from that. Uh, thanks to our, our single business sponsor that we have uh, long term, which is H&R Block. That's how we've gotten a lot of this equipment and upgraded some things. Now we have to have a sound mixer to hook this microphone in and there's another microphone in the studio that we actually use all the time. That microphone cost $150. And then the mixer that that plugs into, well, that costs $250. All right, so you can see these, these one-time expenses, uh, they are things that are necessary to be able to put on a decent production quality show. <clears throat> Um, the phone that I got, I had to get a phone that had a decent enough camera that was able to withstand uh, a little bit of dust, a little bit of rain, things like that. And it had to be able to hold up to what we were going to be doing to it by using it out in the field constantly for broadcasting. So we got that. That's part of the monthly cell phone bill. We're not going to go into that. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's just what's in this room and one other microphone. We're not going to go into all of the uh, extremely expensive other gear we have, uh, except maybe, uh, for instance, we had to get a cell phone booster that was strong enough to be able to broadcast live here in Page from almost anywhere. Because uh, as you guys know, I'm sure, anytime you're out in Page, you have a hard time uh, making a phone call, receiving a phone call, or doing texts. Well, when you're trying to stream video, it's even more crucial that you have decent signal. And over half of the town didn't work for that. So we had to get a cell phone booster, but we had to get one that was strong enough to overcome the problems we have here in Page. And that was 500 bucks. That's just for the cell booster. Now, it's a one. these right here are one-time expenses, obviously. You know, this is uh, just as an example. You know, a lot of people are like, well, it, it's not that big of a deal. You can just pick up your cell phone and you can do broadcasts. That's true. But there's a lot of things that we're able to do now that we weren't able to do, do before and uh, create a better production value for you. <clears throat> and remember, this does not include variable costs like gas, like food, like doing absolutely anything other than 
paying for the very basics. Okay. So, uh, you know, for, for instance, so what do you guys do? What do you like to do in your free time? We don't have any free time because we're so busy with this stuff, but let me see. We have uh, some comments over here. Carol, Carol says, I'm just glad that you are showing a full picture instead of just headshots. <laughs> Well, we do what we can. I don't like doing the whole body thing because then I'm moving around. Makes everybody dizzy. All right. So, uh, Lois, can you go ahead and add this up for me here? <laughs> I might, I'll might. i probably have to do it again here. <clears throat> Lois. Lois. <laughs> All right. She's adding it up. All right, so this is just like one-time expenses over the over time, and this is only a, just to give you guys a picture of what's going on. All right, so we'll go ahead and break that down. She's getting ready to add this up for me and throw it over. The, oh, she already did. Um, $3,130. So I'll just put that over here. And remember, that's only a small fraction of uh, what we spent for. This is like one. We'll just put one time over here. <clears throat> So for those of you that are watching, you'll understand what that is. If not, well, you have to go back and watch the beginning of the video and uh, be bored to death. All right. So <laughs> that's some big numbers right there. Uh, kind of horrifying, actually. Uh, Lois is putting down, uh, let's see, she did put down earlier what the costs of the business were without, let's see, hold on a second. Where are we at here? Okay, so... She put down, uh, Lois, uh, you, is that 2055? Is that with the business or without it? Ah, don't worry about it. All right, we'll go into that later. So a lot of people have asked, uh, well, why a studio? <clears throat> I made the decision uh, a couple of months ago that uh, a studio would probably be a good idea because here in the studio, we would be able to do live interviews, scheduled interviews. Um, we'd be able to bring clients in and talk to them. And it's a lot more of an efficient workspace than trying to cram everything into a home office. It was a calculated risk. <clears throat> we had, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Ooh. we had uh, we we did a calculated risk because uh, of the way our our numbers are online. We were growing uh, at basically almost at an exponential rate. It was really close to that. So we made the decision. We didn't have a, a lot of capital left. But because of the way our numbers were growing and the way you guys were uh, responding with everything and with as fast as H&R Block uh, jumped on, basically when we approached them, uh, they were so excited to see what we were doing, you know, creating a, a network, a community, bringing news, entertainment and things like that. When they saw what we were doing, uh, they basically threw their money at us. They're like, take my money. And we're like, wow. Well, if they're that interested in what we're doing, then... Uh, well, it shouldn't be too hard to get uh, other businesses on board. Well, that obviously hasn't been the case as we've been talking to you guys about this. So uh, it breaks down to a numbers game. The more places you approach, the more places you go to, you know, that it, it's kind of a breakdown. For anybody that's uh, ever been in sales before, you know how that works. You know, you could visit 100 places and you only need one place to say yes. And that's awesome. Well, that's, uh, this is Paige, and that is not the case. This is an atypical situation here in Page, Arizona. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and move this number over here. That's uh, 3130. That's, uh, we'll just put the one time. <clears throat> All right. So uh, wh where am I going with this, basically? So we, we figured that we'd be able to, uh, we'd be able to get some people to join up with us and uh, be, become part of the network. We wanted to offer companies and, uh, and businesses out there a service. Um, one thing that we know that our viewers wouldn't want is to spend five or 10 minutes on commercials that you have to wait through to be able to get to the news or the morning show. So we decided to create an exclusive product that we we're only going to offer to like five or six businesses. <clears throat> and I did that based on a couple of different things. And uh, yeah, well, that hasn't been working out. So uh, economically, it breaks down for the costs that we have associated with it. For our most premier that offers every single one of the services we do, the economic breakdown comes out to one cent per person that sees our content. 
Uh, for those of you that haven't seen uh, the numbers that we've put up or that we've talked about, uh, right now we're reaching over 200,000 people a month. That's 200,000 people that lay eyeballs on our content. And so we decided, well, one cent per person, that's not too bad. But that, that uh, price actually goes down with time as we become more popular and as you guys spread the word and Facebook spreads the word. <clears throat> oh, wait, we have a uh, – hold on a second. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, oh wow. Um, hold on one second. Get our local news in real time. Priceless. Okay. Um, Carol asked, do you have a business license? Yes, we have a business license. We have to pay taxes. We're registered. We're an actual LLC. So we are a real company. But thank you for asking. Um, let's see. <laughs> Okay, uh, and Teresa also brings up uh, that the actual cost per person is less now. Yes, it actually costs less than a penny per person to see our content. And if you're a business that is, uh, you know, sponsoring us or advertising with us, well, your content gets seen as well. And one of the neat things that we offer that uh, nobody else can offer, especially here in Page, is that our content doesn't go away. It's there online as long as the internet's up. <laughs> And uh, unless uh, the internet blows up, well, it's always going to be there. And if it does, well, we got bigger problems. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So anyway, it breaks down to less than a penny a person. Uh, then those numbers are actually a couple of weeks old. We're actually uh, growing a lot faster than that. So we decided, like I said, we were going to take a risk. It was a calculated risk. But uh, if you guys remember a while back, uh, we had a morning episode that was called Double or Nothing. <laughs> And uh, that was actually a calculated risk as well. One of our viewers, uh, we, we almost lost Freedom Studios last month uh, because of the situation that is currently ongoing. We almost lost Freedom Studios, and one of our viewers out there actually paid for Freedom Studios for another month. And we figured, you know, it's a numbers game. If we get out there and we try and, uh, we try and find some advertisers or some sponsors, we'll be able to make this. And so we decided to go ahead and take that plunge. It was double or nothing. Well, we're uh, about halfway through the month now. Still not looking good, as you guys know. But you guys have been helping out. That's amazing. We really appreciate that. But we wanted to show you exactly what our logistical issues uh, are going on right now. Um, it was worth the risk to come to Freedom Studios. A lot of people be like, why would you do that? Well, without risk, you can't grow. Uh, without riding the edge of your comfort zone and pushing it, you you can't grow, you know. And uh, the way I always look at things is, you know, how do, how do you tackle this huge problem that you have? Well, one bite at a time, and we keep managing to make it work. Um, like I said, H and R Block, amazing. We could, you know, like I said, they were they were very excited with what we were doing, and they've helped us come this far. Um, I've also I also do side work on the side as much as I can. I do some contracting work. Uh, there's only so much I can do though, and also still be able to do the news and to be able to do the morning shows. I mean, there's a lot of uh, other things that we'd like to do with LPNN. Right now, we can't, but uh, hopefully at some point we'll be able to. So, <clears throat> our numbers when we got Freedom Studios here, we went from a slow and steady climb. Kind of like here, here we'll do we'll do the chart thing. <laughs> All right. So our numbers before we got to Freedom Studios were kind of on a slow rise. As soon as we entered Freedom Studios and were able to increase the production value of what we're doing and get those live interviews and start the morning show and do a lot more interaction with the community and focus more on our work than uh, than the dogs barking in the background while we're trying to do production work as soon as we were able to do all of that our numbers started to skyrocket <laughs> you know you got the basic hockey stick thing here going on um this right here is a very delineated point in our statistics when we moved to freedom studios everything really started exploding we were growing really fast before but when we came here and started up in our game, the numbers proved us right uh, with, with all of you guys out there. <clears throat> so our value that we're trying to provide the community is going up every single day. It's amazing what you guys have done with us here as part of the, the LPNN network. I guess that's kind of redundant, LPNN network. <laughs> oh, wait, we have some comments over here. 
Um, Carol says, shouldn't that go into the costs? Um, I'm not sure what she's referring to. We'll, we'll leave that one to Lois to answer. All right, so this is one of the things here that we have to take care of. We want this to continue, but this number is unattainable. Look, this monthly thing right here, this is fixed costs. Hold on. Lois is coming in. Yes, Lois. Carol is referring to the business license. The business license, yes, and the registrations and stuff. Yes. We're just giving a basic breakdown. Obviously, this is a, an extremely low estimate of what this stuff costs. You know, there's all kinds of variables and things. We're not going to break it down potato head style. We're just going to make it really nice and simple. This is the basic stuff. It's actually a lot more expensive than this. Okay. <clears throat> this is what it breaks down to. Now, we do want LPNN to keep growing. We want to keep Freedom Studios. But this is not sustainable without getting some businesses to come in here and uh, and sponsor or advertise with us. Um, <clears throat> it's just not. We spend uh, seven days a week, all day, here in the office or out trying to find sponsors or advertisers. Uh, Lois is working on her master's degree, so she's always trying to cram homework in there. I'm doing research and doing things on the back end for all of the... It, it's really, it gets complicated, but there's SEO, there's algorithm problems. It's, it's a nightmare, <laughs> but it's worth it because we're able to bring you guys real news in real time. We're able to bring you the morning show. We're able to bring you live interviews with, with, with candidates that are running for office or with things that are going on through town. And um, unlike, and I still, this I can't even wrap my head around this. So we're a news company. Um, apparently, uh, until now, it actually costs uh, to do interviews or articles on things. Well, we don't, we don't charge for that because we're a news company. That's news. That's stuff that the people here in town need to know that they want to know. So we don't charge for that. <laughs> and we're not going to charge for that. I mean, can you imagine charging someone to do a news story on them? Hello, your house just burned down. Well, you're hundred dollars so I can write an article for you. No, um, not happening. <laughs> That's just silly. So, uh, it, it's not as extreme as that, but you get the idea. We're not going to be doing that. Um, we just need to find how to make this happen right here. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm going to toss the question back at you. I see we still have a bunch of people watching here. We have some ideas on what we need to do, but uh, we're trying to do a brainstorm session here. This is, once again, a low end of the fixed costs. We're not counting gas. We're not counting food. We've got the emergency supplies you know, that'll probably last another six months if it has to. Um, <laughs> you know, that's, that's a lot of dough. It really is. Um, and I think uh, Lois broke down what we have on the other end is 2055. I'll write that here. This is without the business costs. This is just on our personal side. And right now, um, with uh, the amazing donations that you guys have uh, sent in to us, um, we have, I, I'll have to look up the number, but I think we are, uh, hold, hold on. Uh, let me go look at the door here. <clears throat> hey, Lois, what is our, uh, uh what is our, uh, GoFundMe and everything? Do you know what the total is on that just now? What the total is? <clears throat> well, I, I actually, I think I know what it is. So I'll go ahead and throw that in here. Our, our total for the GoFundMe yes. Itself, that's not what people have the whole thing, all of it. 195 and then how much is it with the other one write that in the comments for me <clears throat> all right so the gofundme account has uh, done 195 so far now she's uh, adding up uh, there's actually so, some of you guys actually went to the website and donated through that so and we didn't know that we had to add that up as well uh we had this is from the gofundme site <clears throat> is 195 so we're gonna hit to uh, <clears throat> And then we had uh, the anonymous donation that you guys saw from my embarrassing video yesterday. <laughs> uh, that was another hundred right there. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, Lois is over there working on uh, the rest of the numbers. <clears throat> Give us just a second while we wait for that. And remember, once again, if you get easily bored, don't watch. This is just, uh, you know, we're just breaking some simple stuff down. I actually have this all drawn out more complicated, but trust me, you don't want to see that. Hold on, Lois is now walking towards the door. What do you got, Lois? And I don't have access to the businesses. Okay, just spit out a number. People are waiting, Lois. I, yeah. <laughs> so I believe what you told me this morning, it was 
140. 140? Okay, so we'll go ahead and go with that. We'll go with 140. <clears throat> and another 75. Another, oh, that okay. That's another donation, personal donation. Oh, that's right, that's right. Uh, yes, Lake Trail, uh, <laughs> Lake Powell, uh, Rim Trails Bike and Hike. They actually uh, donated it to the cause as well. That was another 75. We'll throw that in there. So you guys kind of get the idea. Oh, and LP Espresso, but that's not that was an right. That was an actual advertising thing. So we'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and put LP Espresso from this morning. I actually sponsored the morning show this morning. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so uh, let me move out of the way here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll punch that in. Hey, can somebody? Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, let's see. Bema says hello. Hello. Thank you for watching. If you get easily bored, don't watch. We're uh, doing a, a little bit of a breakdown over here, so uh, not an actual break, like a, a, an economical breakdown. <laughs> and this is very, very basic that we have going on here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, and subtract this stuff out. So we got uh, 2055 minus 195 minus 100 minus 140 minus 75 minus 100 comes out to 1445 all right so let me get my marker back over here again so we have 1445 left to cover this month these are your guys's donations this is the uh the sponsor that we had for the morning show this morning we need this much money just to make the house payment, the utility payments, and all of that stuff. <clears throat> That's what we need left. So, <clears throat> you know, we've, we've like I said, uh, we've been working on it. You know, it's not like we're idle. We're constantly working towards new things. But this is one of those hard facts right there. We need this much more money to make the house work. That doesn't include Freedom Studios. You see where our dilemma is here. So even though our numbers have started exploding exponentially, even though everything is going absolutely amazing, uh, I hear Lois uh, yelling at me through a door. Um, even though all of this stuff is going on and that things are going so well, because we can't find a business that's willing to sponsor or advertise with us, we have to cut something somewhere. <laughs> Because it doesn't add up. Now, like I said before, this is a calculated risk that we took. And in a normal place, um, it would definitely have worked by now. We would have been able to find some sponsors. We'd be able to grow even faster. We'd have more programming. Here, it's not working. Here, we're relying on you guys. Um, and we're out every day, or Lois is out every day, trying to find sponsors or advertisers. <clears throat> this is an unsustainable thing. But you guys are worth it. We figured it would happen. Hold on, Lois is breaking in again. That amount, the 2055, is just the business. That's oh, this is just the business. That's not the personal. Okay, what's what was the personal? The personal is. Um, Lois says this is actually business costs, not the personal the costs. Personal so. Is roughly around 15. <sighs> okay, well, we'll just go ahead and use that as a baseline anyway. Thank you, Lois. Right. So you get the idea. The the personal is actually only about fifteen. So the business is more expensive than personal, obviously. So fifteen hundred minus that. Either way, not sustainable. So without finding a business to sponsor or advertise with us, this is not happening. Um, <clears throat> we need this much just to pay the bills. Um, <laughs> last night we cheated a little bit. We almost never do this, but uh, last night we cheated a little bit. And uh, for the first time in I don't know how long, uh, we actually uh, we, we got some little Caesars, and uh, that was only because we didn't like uh, we didn't want to eat this stuff for dinner, <laughs> and uh, you know we spent about thirteen dollars on that. So we did uh, we we uh, we found the cheapest place in town we could, and we got that, and it was amazing. Um, yeah, we had we we, we did uh, we did cheat a little bit. We'll throw that out there. We apologize, but we couldn't help ourselves. We were we were very excited that you guys were able to help us out so much. So <clears throat> let me go ahead and uh, knock this stuff out here. All right, if you start adding in variable costs and things of that nature, you know the price of everything goes up. You know, gas costs money. We have to run around. We have to do stories. 
there's breaking news that happens. Um, obviously, that's why we ended up cutting the uh, the live traffic reports. We just there's there's no money to go around for it. <clears throat> so that is a basic breakdown of what's going on. Um, and why most likely we will have to close down Freedom Studios. Now, we are going to try and keep LPNN running uh, from the house, obviously. We're, you know, our numbers show that we should stay here because we are expanding so quickly. But we can't afford it. So if we cannot find another business out there to advertise or sponsor us, um, we're definitely going to have to downsize back to the uh, to the office at the house, which it can be done. Unfortunately, the internet's going to suffer on that one. Uh, it's, it, for those of you that have been here for a while, uh, will know that internet. Uh, unfortunately, there's some kind of interference that's causing problems, and yeah, we won't even get into that. But <clears throat> we'll see what we can do on that end. But we do have another issue. We don't have enough money anymore to be able to pay those basic things. Uh, we need to be able to finish paying for our bills for the month. You guys have helped with that. Um, but coming up, what are we going to do from there? You know, um, we got to pay the cell phone bills or we won't be able to do live broadcasts uh, for any of the uh, breaking news stories or anything like that. Um, there's just a lot of stuff that we're not going to be able to do. So we're going to try for as long as we can to keep this going. We're not giving up. We're not surrendering, but there are some hard financial uh, and number things that uh, that are coming up that we're getting ready to hit. So you guys have helped immensely. You've made it so that we can stretch it just a little bit farther. Um, if you guys do know a business out there that wants to sponsor or advertise with us, or if you guys want to donate uh, to the cause and you haven't already, you can check out the GoFundMe page, and uh, every single little bit helps. But those are some hard numbers, some hard realities. Um, <laughs> you can't get around numbers like that. Um, like I said, our numbers show that we should be here because of what's going on. Uh, unfortunately, with being in a small town like this that is as strange as it is, well, it's not panning out as quickly as it needs to, which is probably, you know, it's partly our fault. We should have taken, well, I did take that into account. I just didn't think it was going to be that bad. Sometimes I'm the optimist. Um, you know, I do have a very extensive business plan that I have laid out and everything. Unfortunately, there are certain variables that sometimes you can't account for or that end up being larger than, uh, than you expected. So let me see if we have any comments over here. <clears throat> okay, so Lois is throwing in some other stuff. All right, so that's the basic breakdown of what's going on, how much money is needed per year, per month, um, on the very, very cheap side, not including variable expenses like gas, food. Um, we don't do entertainment because we don't have enough time for entertainment. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. So uh, do you guys have any questions or any ideas? If you do, go ahead and throw them in the comments. I'll go ahead and give it a second. All right. Uh, Eric says, have you possibly tried teaming up with the radio station? Um, that's something that we can't really go into uh, here live on our thing. Uh, the answer is that's not happening. Um, right. So, like I said, we're not uh, going to go into that. It's uh, nothing personal, but uh, <laughs> we don't want to discuss it here on uh, on the main uh, news channel here. So, uh, does anyone else have any questions or any ideas? We'll, we'll go ahead and give you guys just a second to uh, add that up. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm looking over here at uh, the monitor, seeing if anybody has anything else they want to throw in before we go ahead and end this. We'll give you just another minute. Uh, like there's a lag time between what I see and all of that, so we do have to wait. <laughs> yeah, you have to upload the signal. Has to go through Facebook. So you guys see it, then you text it back. There's almost a minute delay sometimes. So, all right. Well, we'll go ahead and uh, call that uh, call that an end to things. That is the cheap version, the extraordinarily cheap version of what's going on right now and uh, where we're at. Uh, some people were asking. Well, there you go. That is a very very basic 
you know, breakdown of what's going on. It is a lot more complicated, obviously, but we don't want to do that live on TV. So, <laughs> all right. Well, thank you guys very much for uh, joining us and for watching. We appreciate it. And uh, we will be seeing you on the next one. Uh, don't forget, we'll be having nightly news tonight. And don't forget to give a big shout out to LP Espresso over at State 48 for sponsoring this morning's morning show. And H&R Block for making all of this possible. Well, not all of it, but uh, a significant amount of it possible uh, for, all, for a lot of the rest of your guys' programming out there. Um, I'd like to give a big shout out to them. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Uh, maybe if I can find the right buttons. <laughs> and let's see. Oh, no. Maybe.